Hi Virgo, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Virgo, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Virgo. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Swords, and this is Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius Energy. So this is an energy of conflict. This is an energy of not seeing eye to eye with someone. There is an energy here of someone who feels, they feel quite defeated by the situation. This person is ready to withdraw from the situation. There is an energy here of feeling like things have gone too far. And there's someone here wants to drop their swords. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, we have the Six of Pentacles, Earth Energy. The Ace of Pentacles, Earth Energy. And the Nine of Pentacles, Earth Energy. So someone is ready to make peace. Um, with that Six of Pentacles, there's a desire to get on good terms, to get on the same page. And we're seeing that Ace of Pentacles as somewhat of a peace offering. It can even be an apology. Um, but there's a desire here to move move on from a conflicting situation. Um, this person does want to be on good terms. This is someone who actually still has love for you. They do respect you with that Nine of Pentacles. They do see you as someone that they want to be on your team. It's like they want you guys to be a partnership. They don't want you guys to be against each other. There's a desire to work together and to be a unit. And this person, I'm seeing them ready to be the bigger person if need be, but there's an energy of wanting to extend themselves, wanting to end the conflict and even to apologize. So let's clarify these cards, um, Virgo. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Cups, and this is Water Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio Energy. So there is, again, an energy of peace offering, wanting to get on good terms, wanting to, um, you know, achieve or establish some sort of a truce in this situation. So let's see. Okay, we have the Seven of Pentacles, Earth Energy, the Five of Wands, Fire Energy, and the Ace of Cups, Water Energy. So there is, again, that energy of con conflict with that Five of Wands. Um, but with the Ace of Cups and the Page of Cups, there's that energy of this person wanting to um, wipe the slate clean. They want to put that behind. They want to start a new chapter that is filled with more of a loving place. This person does want you to see them through eyes of love. They want you to have a more uh, positive view of them. And this person is going to put in the effort to make you see them in a better light. There's an energy here of wanting to end any conflicts or drama. This person doesn't want drama. Um, and there is also this recognition of that it's going to take time, but this person wants to nurture the connection they share with you. They do see the value of this connection with that seven of pentacles. And there is an energy of wanting to slowly but surely work on rebuilding the connection, regaining trust, getting on good terms again. Um, there's an energy of really wanting to plant seeds to have a better new beginning for this connection. This person definitely does see you as someone who they have a lot of love for with that page of cups. In fact, there's even a bit of an idealizing energy there. Uh, but this person, they see you as the kind of person that they wouldn't want to cross. They wouldn't want you to be an opponent. They would want you to be on their team. Okay, so I'm going to pull out an oracle card for you, Virgo. Okay, 
Okay, so the card says a new start is coming, new moon. So this person wants to start afresh. They want to wipe the slate clean. They want a new beginning with you. Okay, so I'm going to pull out another card for you, Virgo. So the card says unrequited love. There is not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So this person, there are fears here of this connection not working out because there's been so much conflict. But I, I do see this unrequited love is not necessarily their energy. This person actually wants to bring back the spark. They want to bring back the freshness to this connection. This person wants to start a new cycle in this connection. But there is an energy of wanting to get you on their team, wanting to make sure that you're on the same page with that Six of Pentacles energy. Okay, so I'm going to pull out another card for you, Virgo. So the card says violet. Faithfulness and modesty. Modesty is a shining light that prepares the mind to receive knowledge and the heart for truth. Okay, so this person's definitely been humbled by this situation. There is an energy of feeling almost defeated. And this person, there is an energy of wanting to um, avoid losing this connection because this person actually cares for the connection. They want, they want peace with you. They want a truce with you. Um, there's also a recognition here that the conflict, the game playing, the drama isn't going to get them what they want in the situation. Um, this person wants to keep the love alive. They want to keep you in their um, life. This person is hoping that you can return their feelings. This person, they do have doubts, but there's an energy of wanting to keep trying, wanting to put in the effort to avoid an ending. If anything, this person wants to start again with you. They want a brand new beginning. They want to change your perception of them. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Virgo. I hope you have a really, really good day, Virgo. Bye, Virgo.